So the other day I saw this photo of every game coming out this year, or every game announced coming out this year. And I thought, really, how many of these games are really coming out this year? I wondered how many would be delayed until next year. And then I started thinking, what else would happen this year? Then I thought, why not do a predictions for 2022 in the year of video games? And I thought, why not do a video game prediction for the year 2022, because I was bored. So, going off the games I think might be delayed this year, God of War to next year. I don't think it has a strong date yet, so it might get pushed to next year, early next year. Who knows? Hogwarts Legacy to next year. I don't think we've seen any gameplay. I don't think we've seen anything of it. I feel like they're still far behind. And also another game probably not coming out this year, Breath of the Wild 2. Again, I don't think we've seen enough. And now for some, not delays, but predictions I think will come this year. I think it's been rumored that there's a new Bioshock game in production. I think we will see a new teaser sometime this year for it. Probably not a gameplay trailer, probably a cinematic, but I also don't think it'll be featured in Rapture or Columbia, but it'll probably have something to do with it. The next Assassin's Creed game will be this year. And I think it'll be a game as a service that'll be continuously updated to add new time periods and stories. I just feel like they can make a great Assassin's Creed game where they just add in DLCs or expansions that are just new areas. You can have so many different time periods, so many different characters. Free game, paid expansions, just do it. Sadly, I think Avengers will die this year. They've had four expansion. They've had three expansions plus another one for PlayStation. I don't think it's enough. I think people have moved on. I don't think there's a player base for it. So I think by the end of the year, Square Enix will announce support will end for Avengers. I believe Sony will announce at least two new movie projects in development that are based on PlayStation games. Uncharted coming out soon, maybe in a month, I think. I think it might do well, good enough for PlayStation. And that might uh, encourage them to make more movies based off games. Could be. God of War, could be Horizon, could be Last- or actually no, they're making The Last of Us TV show. It could be anything, who knows. I believe Fortnite will have brand new Marvel character outfits to collect. Probably all based on Disney Plus shows coming out. You got She-Hulk, you got Moon Knight, you got Miss Marvel. Could be any of those, could be some of the movies coming out. Next up, no one talks about it, so I feel like it's gonna make a comeback. Stadia 2 or some updated version of the Stadia will probably be released or announced this year. Either that or they'll just kill it. Who knows? Xbox Game Pass will acquire another big name developer or add another publisher service. So they'll either add some big developer like how they did Bethesda to Xbox Game Pass or another service like how they did EA Play. Maybe Ubisoft's Plus, I don't think it's officially announced that they're doing that, but maybe some other thing. But maybe some other thing, who knows. At the start of this year, I started playing DC Universe Online. Really fun game, actually. Then I hear it's rumored that they might be making a Marvel game. So I think Daybreak's new Marvel MMO will get a cinematic trailer sometime this year. They're probably still far in development. Cinematic, they could probably do quickly, show us what the game will be about. Excited for that game if it actually exists. I think Oscar Isaac will make some appearance at some gaming event. Probably something with Jeff Keighley, because he likes to get celebrities in time to time. Oscar Isaac, he's pretty big right now. You know, he was in the Star Wars new trilogy. He was in Dune. He'll be in Moon Knight. He's, I think he's voicing Spider-Man 2099 in Spider-Verse. He's big right now. And usually at the Game Awards or Summer Game Fest, they have celebrities come on to like do announcements or give out awards. He'll probably show up somewhere, I feel it. Or maybe he'll be a voice in a new game. Who knows? Another game I casually play, Dead by Daylight, I think it'll get one of these new characters. I think it'll either get Chucky, Jason from Friday the 13th, Frankenstein, a werewolf type monster, a puppet type monster, not like Jigsaw, not from Saw, just like a monster that's like a puppet possessed by a demon or something, or Jack Frost. <laughs> If you haven't seen the movie Jack Frost, not the one with Michael Keaton, the one with a killer Jack Frost, that one. <laughs> At E3 this year, Xbox will announce 10 plus new games coming to Game Pass day one. Not any of the games they announced last year. They announced like 30 last year. I'm talking about 10 brand new ones that people haven't heard of or it wasn't announced they're coming to Game Pass. 
And speaking of Game Pass, I believe Starfield will be Game Pass's biggest seller ever. I think right now it's Forza. I'm talking about like player base. Like how many players played it from Game Pass. I feel like Starfield might surpass everything. At the Game Awards, I believe at least half of the Game of the Year nominees will be console exclusive games. Whether it be PlayStation exclusives or Xbox exclusives, I feel like this year's has a lot of exclusives coming out. And I think they usually do six, so maybe at least three of those games will be exclusives. And my final prediction, I just want this to exist. Sly Cooper will get a trilogy remaster announced. It probably won't come out this year, but he deserves it. Give us Sly back. Give us the first three games, remaster the graphics, remake it if you want. Just give me more Sly. And uh, that's all my predictions. And uh, I guess I'll see at the end of the year how well I did. Probably not well. We'll see.